Hey guys, Pokemon Collectibles here, and here is another series that I felt like starting. I've actually been thinking about this for a long time, so here it is finally. I guess I'm going to call it Pokemon Assessments. I'm going to start with Gen 7 because they're the newest ones, and then probably start maybe with Gen 1 and work my way up to Gen 7. I don't really know yet. It's just something I was thinking about doing because I like to talk about Pokemon. They're one of my favorite subjects, <laughs> hence why I have this channel. And and I just thought I would get you guys' opinion about the new Pokemon. Because some of them I do like and some of them are really questionable. But I'll get into that later. So here is assessment number one. Hope you guys enjoy. Now the first Pokemon that I felt like working with, I just figured I'd start with the very first one added to Gen 7. Which is Little Rowlet. He's number 722. Now this is the cutest little Pokemon. I have to say, I, I really like his name, first of all. I I think it's really cool that, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be Owlet or something like that. Owlet, Rowlet, I don't know. It sounds something like that. I actually don't know what you call a baby owl. I might put that in the description later, but I don't really know <laughs> right now. Uh, this is from Gen 7, like I said before. Uh, the games that they're in, that would be Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I've actually played already. I've, well, I've played a little bit of it. I've played, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes of it. It's still a really fun game, though. Now, as far as my favorite Pokedex entry, I don't know how I'm going to be doing this with these videos, but I did want to do these with other entries. Because 7th Gen Pokemon, actually, to my knowledge now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but to my knowledge, they only have one Pokedex entry right now, because they only have one for Sun and Moon. But the one for this one is, this wary Pokemon uses photosynthesis to store up energy during the day while becoming active at night. Which makes sense, because he's an owl. So, I guess that'll be my favorite one, because it's the only one. It's actually kind of cool that they made an owl that is grass type. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool that it's a Pokemon that can work with photosynthesis, which which makes it sound really cool. As far as element typing, this is grass and flying type. So pretty cool combo. I actually like grass type Pokemon quite a bit, even though my favorite is fire type. As far as evolutions go, this little guy evolves into, I want to say you pronounce it Dartrix, something like that. I've actually already seen the deck that this guy is in. Really amazing Pokemon. And then that later evolves into Decidueye. So I'm going to go over them in separate videos, but I just thought I'd mention them in this video. And as far as status goes, it is a normal type Pokemon. As far as I know, he's not legendary in any way, even though it is a legend that he is 7th gen. Because if you think about it, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I never thought there would be a 7th gen. I actually thought Pokemon would have died at about, I don't know, Gen 4, Gen 5. Now that I have no faith in them, it's just I never thought they would make it this far. I never thought they'd still be keeping up with all this and still coming up with new Pokemon designs. It just blows my mind that they are still making new Pokemon, even to this day. And speaking of designs of new Pokemon, I want to say this is the second Owl, but it is a lot different than uh, Hoot Hoot and Noctowl, so I like that. I like that they went with a totally different direction as far as design goes. It doesn't look like either. Well, I say that. It doesn't really... It looks a bit like Hoot Hoot as far as they're both round. But other than that, they went completely different with the design for it. So I'm really pleased with that. I think it's really cool. I think this little adorable Pokemon has a lot of potential. So I'm really happy that Pokemon made this. So I think overall, Rowlet is a really cool Pokemon. And I guess I'll rate these 1 through 5 because that way I can be a little more I don't know, a little more accurate maybe with how I rate them. And I would give this little dude probably a four just because I don't quite like his color. I think he could be a little bit darker of a brown and that'd be a bit cooler. But other than that, I only have great things to say about Rowlet. So thanks guys for watching this little bitty short video. Hope you guys enjoy Rowlet as much as I do and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.